I cover systems of equations pretty well in the SAT Math Tactics series with real problems on the SAT because there's some wrinkles there that obviously we're not going to be able to capture in this review. But let me at least show you some basic systems of equations problems so you can know some of the basic ways to handle them. So let's imagine we're given these two equations, x plus y equals 10 and 3x minus y equals 6. So one of the easiest way to solve these is just put them on top of each other and stack them and then add or subtract them so you can eliminate one of the variables. We could do substitution, there's various other things we could do, but generally on the SAT, this is the way we want to do it. So let me just go ahead and add the bottom equation into the top. So 3x plus x is 4x. Notice y and negative y are going to cancel, that's the whole point of doing this. And 10 plus 6 is 16. So I'm going to get x is 4. And now I plug this into either one, probably the top because it's a bit easier. And I get, let's see, 4 plus what is 10? Well, y then is going to have to be 6. And that's it. So that's just the stack up method. And again, I go through some examples in the tactic series. How about 2x minus 2y equals 4 and 3x plus y equals 10? So notice here, I don't have something I can immediately cancel because 3x and 2x gives me 5x minus 2y and y gives me minus y. But if I go ahead and multiply the bottom equation by 2, watch what happens. So the top equation stays 2x minus 2y equals 4. The bottom equation becomes 6x plus 2y equals 20. And then hooray hooray, now I can go ahead and add them. I get 8x, these cancel because minus 2y plus 2y is 0, equals 24. So x is 3. And again, I just plug this into you know one of the originals to see what we get. So let's do the bottom one. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus what is 10? Well, y then is going to have to be 1 to satisfy that equation. So those would be my two solutions to that one, or my solution to that one. So again, check out Math Tactics, the Algebra series, especially the simultaneous equations or the um, system of equations questions, and that will give you a good overview of the topic.